click down the board for every single one of them, huh? <laughs> My bad. It's time for more wood shenanigans. I still haven't figured out the chat stuff. I don't know if it's a setting on like what I use for my chat box or what. I'll figure it out. I did play around with the mic. Um, let me know if the mic sounds too loud or too uh, quiet. I played around with the settings. I'm sorry if you. I'm sorry that I've been eating on stream almost every fucking night this week. I usually do them at seven because uh. I cook around this time, so I've been cooking earlier, except tonight where I f***ed up and I had to go, uh, get takeout. <laughs> At least I didn't make a lasagna last minute. I got too lost in the, in, I was in the zone working on my new body. <laughs> and when I finally looked up to check time after working on it for a couple hours, ah. Uh, there was not enough time for me to make dinner, like a proper normal human being housewife thing. So, it is. I gotta take out. <laughs> I shouldn't have. I probably could have whipped something up, but no. After drawing for a few hours, painstakingly working over my new body, which you all better appreciate, no. I was tired. I wonder if the mic can hear my jaw popping. I just watched it light up when my jaw popped really loud. Hmm. That's a new one. My jaw pops when I eat. <laughs> Sorry, uh, if you hear that, I hope you don't. That'd be really awkward. Okay, you didn't hear it? Thank God. That'd be so awkward. Every time my jaw moves or shifts or anything, it pops really loud. Not exactly the greatest sound in the world. It- it bugs the shit out of my mom. It's woods time, everybody. We left off at a spooky dream! After, uh... After our... Night of hanging out with Greg. I guess we need to light lanterns. Or maybe not. I don't know. After hanging out with Greg and almost killing Greg god knows how many times. We are now... Doing a dream segment. Is that Greg? <laughs> What's going on? God, platforming. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Never mind. I guess I can jump on the uh, objects in the background? I don't like those birds. <laughs> yeah, sorry we're getting into it so quickly, though. It'd be one of the... It'd be one of those evenings. I was too busy on working on the new Ina V2, uh, VTuber.0, whatever the fuck. Whatever the title is, Ina version 2.0. <laughs> Can I scare the birds? Be gone! Dumb birds. I, was, I, caught, I got caught up working on it. Because I'm. Ina version. 6.9. Yeah! My eyes went a little cross today working on it. Not gonna lie. I was painstakingly, uh... <laughs> sculpting certain bits of the new model. I say sculpting. I don't sculpt. I was... Working tirelessly on some certain parts of the model. And, uh. I'm tired. <laughs> tired of looking at it, but also I need to get it done. 
so I can stop uh, my subscription for Live 2D before they take any more of my money. <laughs> Not that a bad thing, it's just uh, I thought I would have more of it done before now, but then again, <laughs> I'll get to it when I get to it, I guess. This is one of the spooky dream sequences, though. Where we suddenly get to make a bunch of music. I think we can see the constellations in the background. I don't think I noticed that on the Switch version. PC is just a computer, I guess. Oh, shit! What a grooving vibe. Boy, I go that way. It's black over there, God. <laughs> so how is everybody today, huh? It is Wednesday, my dudes. At least I hope it's Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. But uh, if it's not, fuck me. Solving the puzzle. Which isn't, it's not really a puzzle. We just had to make a sick beat. With our brain, brain power that I lack today. Ho oh ho! Excuse me? Oh, it's a little bear. Or is it a wolf? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, Greg. I hope you don't hear the rustling of my feedback. You probably do. Don't judge me! I did my best today! Just got lost in the sauce. Look at his little face! And then he got a little spooky there. Waken! It's time for more shenanigans and hopefully spoopies. I remember this game having a lot more spooks in it, but maybe it was towards the end. Hey. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my left right there. Morning! I'm somehow even more sore. This is bullshit. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. Good morning, Sharkle. <laughs> okay. So basically, we're doing doing the Greg route. Let's see if Daddy will move the boxes. Nope, he ain't moved shit. <laughs> Keep saying that we're doing the Greg route, but it's not really a route. God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now, since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like having something big that only does one thing is like a statement or something. <laughs> Wonder how old this thing is. What are you even thinking about in there? <laughs> what if that bird's not alive and it's just a fake bird that May's mom has to convince everyone it's a real bird? <laughs> Good morning! Did you feel it last night? Why? <laughs> it was a big sinkhole two streets over! Oh. <laughs> We're still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth, and on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I kind of live in- not like a floodplain, but we live in air- we live in, I think, wetlands. Maybe? We have interesting soil composition. Including a fungi that's unique to us. 
we got the fungus among us. <laughs> I guarantee you I won't- I have seen some sinkholes. DIRT! Yeah, we have dirt. No interest at all. Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Get back to me when one, like, swallows a house or something. We'll go s We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Hang out with Greg. What did you do? Uh, I went to the grocery store. That sounds exciting. Honestly, if you're a small town person, it is exciting. We would- we would just go to a Walmart just to bum around and get snacks. <laughs> get anything special? Oh boy, sure did. <laughs> well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya! Mm. Bye, sweetie. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Small town vibes. You basically- Oh, it's dreary today. Small town vibes. You literally go to the grocery store to hang out. Especially if there's not much else to do. Alright. The agenda. Talk to everybody. Feed the rat cord. <laughs> we want to spread the plague. Oh. See, look! It's almost Halloween in game! Isn't that fun? <laughs> It'll be Halloween Saturday. Yeah. My partner hub and whatever the fuck. <laughs> Uh, last minute had to pick out a costume for something? Something at work or something. I said this out of my sentence. Anyway, we went to the store today, the local Walmart, if you will. There ain't shit. <laughs> and I was like, what did you expect? It's the week before Halloween, you expect people to not buy shit the week before Halloween? You dum dum. So we had to cobble together something that looks spooky. I don't know what the fuck they're supposed to be, but they're something. <laughs> Selmers? Now, we all know how important it is to look our best. Right? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the Sylvanium family of products. Summers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you sold anything yet? Hmm. So I dumped into my mom and Abby Krangler. Mrs. Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I ran into her at the laundromat over by the skew. One time Greg got locked inside one of the tumble dryers. Did he die? He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. <laughs> he definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. <laughs> Wanna hear a poem? Yes, we're going to listen to Selmer's poetry! Even if it's bad. <laughs> Sometimes. I think. And start to sing. Uh oh. There's more. Sorry. Then I remember. It's October. Hey. <laughs> October. Yeah, October. I combined my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. Days are gonna start getting shorter soon. It makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but hate the dark. I like it. You sure do. I seen a raccoon. Where? Up in Towny Sentry. He's a biggin. Cool. Okay, that's all I have to say. I also like fall, May. You and me both. It's actually pretty overcast where I am right now. Well, it got dark, but like, today was gray and gross and I just stayed inside and sipped tea. Got lost in the, uh, drawing bit sauce. 
My cat don't like folks on the porch. Is that all you have to say, asshole? Tweedly dee. Fuck these trash cans. Look at all their Halloween decorations. They're not as intense. But look at that little jagged lantern. That's a cute jagged lantern. We gotta steal a pretzel and feed it to the rat board. We'll go ahead and go down in the tunnel and get ourselves a pretzel. And also check if that little old lady dog is there. I think she was there yesterday though, so we'll probably not see her. We also have to check on the little rat Lori. Because I like her story. Rainy day, huh? But not down here. You kids have your own little secret hideout down here, huh? Whatever. When I was a kid, literally nobody cares. Well, whatever. Damn, assholes. Okay then. What little shits? <laughs> But also relatable. Alright, nobody else? Time for that. Hi. Or pretzel thievery. I bet some rat. Yes, they would! I just need to not fuck up. I shit you not on the Switch. It took me, um, five or six tries to finally start feeding the rat babies. So thank god this game is long. Ish. But I was so depressed, I couldn't steal anything. I was like, this is a shitty mini game. Fuck! And now I'm the queen of it. The rats at last had died. Well, thank god the rats didn't die. They were just very hungry. But now, I am the provider. I am the perfect provider. Let's check this board. I haven't looked at it in a while. I wonder if May has anything to say about the missing poster now. She does not. Okay. Well, that was kind of a waste, but... Yeah. That's a Vocaloid song? The rats at last had died? Uh, we should go up here first. I like doing things in a pattern. So if I do this area first and then we go to the rats, I'll know that this area is clear. Oh, there's also some goth kids that can appear. Like, we have goth alligator... There's like a little group cluster of goths that we can meet. But I don't think we can meet them on overcast day. Days, I should say. Uh-oh. What's going on here? What the fuck are they doing to Bruce? probably see him as like um what is it a disturbance or something they probably don't like that he's that he's stopping in their town and he set up a little shelter so they're probably going to try some way to try and get rid of him Happy. 
racists. <laughs> I don't see a, a single cat on that council. I think you're right. <laughs> I mean, Molly's there, but she's not on the council. <laughs> I like that little, like, string sound that plays. Oh, for sure they're gonna try and get rid of Bruce. They just- that- that- that texts. I bet somebody, uh, somebody called the cops on Bruce, and then town- City Hall came and was like, Hmm. What's up, Bruce? So what's your story? Uh, I got no story. Like, where are you from? North of here. Northeast. Worked on the railroads. Work some mines. Work some construction. How'd you end up here? String of bad luck. Don't have to talk about it. I never turned down that offer. They're trying to try and chase Bruce off. Hopefully... Well, I sort of know what happens already, and I'm not pleased with it, but I'm gonna keep everybody else in the dark. Who knows, maybe we can find a different thing. Because I'm not sure how much of the story changes, depending on the choices that we make. What if, uh, what if us almost killing Greg seven or eight times with that fucking minigame last night has influenced the story so badly <laughs> that we can't even get, like, a decent ending now? Greg's gonna turn on us and be like, I was the ghost all along. I died during that first fall down the stairs. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Ah, uh, you passed the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. That's very rude. The old West was a very rude time. Howdy, partner. I say, I say, this is powerful rude. That's like a southern gentleman. He's classing up the place. Tarnation! Okay, mom. No more cowboy talk for you. Hey, gum it! I gotta get back to work, sweetie. Love you! Okay, we can't go in there. Can we go in here? Okay. It's Pastor Kate! Hey again! Hey. Your mom will be pretty happy you're here. Oh, don't I know it. You're not a churchgoer. Uh, when I was a kid. Well, you had to go then. Yeah. I like Sunday school. They give you cookies and an orange drink. Is orange drink really the only name for it? Uh, I don't know. I realize I've also been calling it that my entire life. Orange drink. <laughs> Do you mean tang? The drink that is orange. <laughs> when did you stop coming? When my mom stopped making me. When I was like 15 or so. Why? I don't know. All the sitting and standing. Sing this now, feel this thing now. Well, the feelings are more suggestions. Doesn't feel like it. Well, I hope you'll maybe come some Sunday? Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh, wow. Reach. Kind of a bad ring to it, huh? Talk? That works. Hey, how are things with the whole Bruce situation? Well... 
We're praying, and gears are turning, but they turn slow. But God can turn any gear they want, and I take comfort in that. I hope it turns out okay. Thank you, May. Hey, listen. You know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God? <laughs> sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of in my job description. Okay. Guess that's it. I do like the dialogue and how they handle some of this stuff in this game. Because, if I remember correctly, we can have a conversation with Kate that you're just like, Oh god, that was actually um pretty intense and I'm not a religious person. <laughs> So the writing for this game is Chef's Kiss. Alright, time to feed the rats. We gotta provide for our rat children. And also check and see if Lori's up, up down the room. Lori's killed. And I don't want y'all to miss Lori's dialogue. I really like Lori's dialogue. <laughs> oh, look at that dog! Jesus, that dog is cracked out. We'll talk to Lori and then we will feed the rats. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Like, I don't, like, all the, there's a lot of interactions in this game, and I think some of Lori's interactions, our little rat friend, are the best. Hey. Gonna sit if that's cool. It's cool. What you doing? Drawing. Ooh, what you drawing? You know how in a movie, like a knife will go through someone's eye? <laughs> yeah? Ooh, boy, do I ever! <laughs> Actually, I don't, personally. I don't like uh, horror movies that have eye gore. <laughs> I'm like designing an effect and makeup for that. Fake. Real. I'm working on a horror movie. You're gonna make a horror movie? That's so rad! Okay, maybe I'm not making it yet, but... I mean, someday I could like... Direct it and write it and do the makeup. Lori's got big dreams. I have a really good scream, too. Really? Oh, I was gonna do like a real scream, but then I was like, that'll pop the mic, so I'll just do a little fake one. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to hurt anybody's ears tonight. I want to like, go to horror movie school. I think they have those. Oh yeah, they're really cool. I already know how to make fake blood and body parts. Sorry, it's probably boring. How in the world could that possibly be boring? I know like all of them. Body parts? Horror movies. Everyone? A lot of them. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I gotta go. See ya. Later. Rip. I like Lori. Lori's cute. And so sweet. Who keeps closing this window? I never really thought about it my first playthrough, but someone keeps closing this godforsaken window. They don't want me to feed my rats. There's another room that we can get into later. I guess. Wait, what will she say today? Oh, Mallard. Maybe it just falls overnight? Maybe. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten! But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. Oh. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Retro time! A 
right, my little miracle rats. Look, there's more of them. <laughs> Time to eat. Come on, come on. Get the pretzel. Wah! Wah! Where's the last one? Hey! Oh. Yes! Feed! Feed! We will contaminate this town. <laughs> there's more of you today. You need more food? Yes, you do. We will conquer the world with our rat plague. No, seriously, this thing is clearly marked as something it is not. <laughs> Coming back for you next week. We're gonna have a little chat with my boo. with everyone. Let's make sure we didn't miss anyone this way. We'll probably talk to B at the very least. Oh. Kids don't have anything to say, huh? Well, it looks like we got everybody, so let's talk to B. But I think if we're given the option to hang out with B tonight, we will have to hang out with Greg. Because like I said, <laughs> we're going to be Gregory's bestest friend. It looks so sad and empty when we're not playing in it. I passed the harvest. You're denying us! <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll do a bonus where we'll replay and we'll try to get through everything quickly and we'll do the B bits. How does that sound? It'd be nice if we were able to just play like through the game once. Actually, I've never actually played a second playthrough that on a, on like the old account. Maybe they'll just let us skip to the B bits. Hey, BB. Hey, May. How's it going? Got a load of rock salt to move. Came in early this year. And a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards? <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad theory. <laughs> so what's up? Wanna hang out tonight? Yeah, I'm working. If you wanna, like, come along. I was thinking we'd go play Putt-Putt out in Hunwick. May that's actually not a bad idea? But sorry, got work. Ah, jeez, what even is the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. Do you want to come along or not? Alright. Okay. I'm sorry, B! That kind of sucks, though. That's one of my... So... I probably will come back and we'll just replay it for the B cutscenes. Because some of B's interactions are really good. But uber sad? No joke. They kind of hit a little. Oh, okay. They hit a little hard. Just a wee bit. You're kind of left sitting there like, oh, fuck. I won't deny the waifu. We'll have like a special episode. It'll be post Halloween. We'll have like a special episode where we just, like try and get through this game as quick as possible just to get to the B scenes. <laughs> I'm wet and cold. The smelters wouldn't say that. Hell no. Smelters play in any weather. Come rain or come shine. It's always smelter. Alright, boys. Oops the fuck? Excuse me. Yeah. 
we good for the park store? You just missed it. You got an accent. Where are you from? Russia. How did you end up all the way out here? I'm hiking the Great Eastern Deciduous Trail? How is that? It is hard but beautiful. It goes through like six states, right? I lost count. I can't imagine walking that far. My guide said there was a park store here. It's gone. Used to be right here. But now there's a snack falcon. Do you know where I can get supplies? I mean... Snack falcon, dude. <laughs> I guess I can find something in there. Yeah, man, they got all kinds of cool stuff. Probably all perishable, though. Hmm. Isn't everything perishable? We're going... We are all going to perish. Everything is going to perish. But yeah, they got granola bars and things. Spasibo! What's spasibo? Thanks! Ooh, Russian. Okay, well we need to go out this way, obviously. What? What? So how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street. Whoops! My arm fell off! <laughs> I'll just come back for that later. No one can survive their arm just falling off. Very astute of you, May. Or being chopped off. Also astute of you! Like not by a doctor. Is it still called assault if you chop an arm off? It seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. You are under arrest for arm choppy. Who's ever arm that was is probably dead. Not definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. <laughs> May. Ooh, we can go out to the food donkey now. Not that there's much to do out here, I think. Oh, hey, it's Germ! The main man. Hey, Germ. What you doing? Nothing. Was hanging with a couple crusties before. What the rules? What? Crust punks. Traveler kids. Oh, okay, like, from off the trains. They know we don't get mu got much cops. The theory that Molly is the only cop in town is... is prevalent. <laughs> I miss all the cool stuff. <laughs> One of them had a dog. They mostly have dogs sometimes. One time I seen a crusty missing a foot. What happened? Trains jumping off and on. Oh, on and off and falling between cars and stuff. That's intense. Hands, knees, legs, feet, whole arms. We saw an arm the other day. Do you think it was from a crusty? Nah. I mean, I don't know. So, I'm here a lot of days. Okay, I was gonna say, I have to go now. Bye! <laughs> Jerem was like, I ain't fucking with that shit. <laughs> Where does Jerem go? Excuse me? Is Jerem a ghost? <laughs> he just teleported. A little cheating bastard. <laughs> also, I, uh, or maybe he just walked a different way. We're on 2D plane, but apparently some of these areas are like three-dimensional. We're stuck on the 2D platform. All right. Let's hang out with Greg. <laughs> Hey, Mei Mei. 
Toby, what's up, dude? What's saying about going to jail? What? Like you're afraid of going? I probably have to join a prison gang. Yeah. I don't want to join a prison gang. Oh shit. I just dropped my telephone. Right. Don't Angus about this. Your fear of prison gangs? And he said, prison gangs are notoriously problematic. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Angus. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You wanna hang out? We're hanging out with Greg, because I haven't seen the Greg bits. But we'll do a waifu episode, special waifu episode. Yeah, let's roll. Damn straight. Mechanics? Alright, okay, Greg. We cannot have a redo of what happened last night. I cannot uh, almost kill you several times. The bullet went clean through! You can still see the bullet hole in it! How did that not kill him? He must have missed all the it must have missed all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah, great great granddad was pretty tough. But isn't that the helmet the fascists were wearing? Ugh! No, wrong war! Wrong country! These weren't the bad guys. Read some history. <laughs> you wouldn't be bugged by lack of waifu who could bang Greg. Jeez, <laughs> okay. Perfectly timed dialogue, huh? When did you learn all this stuff? When people kept saying it was a fascist hat! <laughs> so what are we doing? Continuing our crime spree. Ooh, yeah. Follow me. Yes, dear leader. I'm both a leader and a deer. Make sure it cleared up. Excuse me? Weather moves for us. So what do I need the bat for? ha -da! Ooh la la! <laughs> that car up, Private Borowski. So... You brought me out here to watch me beat a car? Is that like a thing where people are hot for car crashes? No, and I don't know that movie. <laughs> Look it up. Eh. So we need the battery out of this car. What for? That's privileged info private. Stop calling me private. <laughs> I'm a general at least. <laughs> I'm a general at least. No. I'm the general. I got a hat. War is stupid. Watch it! War got me this hat. <laughs> okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess it's got a key drawing going through it, though. Hey! Like that horror game we, we all kind of played. Where the car suddenly had a tree in it, and there was a lot of flesh blue. Oh. <laughs> So we're just beating it until the hood pops. Why aren't you a thing? Yeah, just smashed up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. Smash the government. The one when the protagonist junior was completely indeterminate? Yeah. I went and did some digging, and there was a bunch of fan art I saw. And I still don't know if there's like a confirmed gender for the protagonist because I saw them drawn as a boy and then I saw a fan art where they distinctly had breasts. So I'm also wondering if maybe the protagonist was supposed to be like trans maybe? Which is why they were ostracized by their friends and family? I don't know. 
Just in case it links it back to them, because we had some we had some weird combos during that mod, and I don't want them I don't want them to get in trouble because we were weird. <laughs> Thank you, I agree. You want to do the honors? I'm gonna am I gonna get electrocuted? Should be fine. The car's got a tree growing through it though. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but. Do you want to do it or not? I do. Oh lord. <laughs> We're gonna get May electric. Is it red than black or black than red? <laughs> I always heard that there was a, a way you were supposed to take them off. I want to say black is first. Come on, May. Oh, Jesus! Sharkle. Hey, Sharkle. What are you doing here? You've always been a good friend, May. We've been through so much together, May. The good times. The bad times. The porn adware fiasco. That weekend you tried to change the operating system. You're right. We have been through a lot together. Sharkle, am I dead? Yes. I almost want to say, what happens if I say yes? Are you here to take me to the other side? <laughs> yes, as in the old legends. Your soul has been weighed against your transgressions. Oh, how did that turn out? Tonight you shall join your ancestors in the stars. <laughs> Could have gone better! Aw, oh, Frigg. I'm sorry, but it's off to hell for you! Dang. <laughs> Mabarowski. I declare thee danged. <laughs> oh well. You're in good company. Lots of folks been danged. I regret nothing. <laughs> What? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh shit. You okay? No. How long was I out? Like five seconds? Oh weird. Time like stretches. It's a mysterious universe. We get to go with the battery. You know it! Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies! <laughs> oh god. It's that meme! Instead of- I- it, I smell pennies! It's that one. That was pretty bad. That hurt my throat a <laughs> little. All of my knowledge about modern day culture is meme. We need the car battery to light- oh, What the fuck, Greg? Anyway, even if it was a fascist helmet, is it because pennies are made of copper and there's copper in blood? <laughs> is that it? I got an anarchy symbol on it now, which makes it good. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works, Greg. And there's a bullet hole in it. So whoever wearing it was dead! And I'm wearing it like a trophy. Mm -hmm. 
So you admit that it's a fascist helmet? No! I don't. Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so... Oh, wow, you moved that onto the couch yourself? Yeah. After the stairs last night? I'm very impressive. Okay, 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 what do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. Okay, well this sounds straightforward enough. Kinda, it's full of garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes. And they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh dude, that's no boat. <laughs> oh dude, no, that's a phobia. That's one that makes sense at least. What are we doing again? Oh no. It smells. That's just how my old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Hey. I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? Why don't you eat your own neck? That's impossible. Be serious. This is serious business. Oh well. Well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I can taste my tooth fillings. I saw a shark, I think. And it told me something important. What was it? I don't remember. Couldn't have been that important then. True. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it. Greg. Oh Lord Jesus. We're gonna blow up this apartment. Jeez. That looks safe. You're gonna be all boring now. Just because you died for like a whole five seconds. Dude. Come on. Some people have been dead like forever. Do you see them whining? Um. Right. They either shut up and deal, or they become ghosts. Are you saying I should become a ghost? Yeah, carpe diem. Carpe diem. Oh, look who's all fancy and rich now. Okay, fine, what are we doing? Now this is the best part. We're gonna put this beast together. Do you know how it goes together? We're gonna find out. Cool. May. Sorry. Cool. A woo. <laughs> woo. Oh. This looks like a fucking nightmare. Wow, so many possible combinations. your own unique metal offspring. So we just clank these together? Yeah, slap them together. Tighten some screws. What could go wrong? I mean, quite a lot. Lots of times stuff goes wrong. Dude, you are no fun. I literally just died. Like 
this. We have to try to make it fuckable. Is there a way for me to pull parts off after I fuck them? This is a foot? Can this be a little arm? <laughs> oh no! It looks like he's got little... Son. So like this is pretty great and all, but remind me, why do we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery? I didn't get to put his head on. <laughs> Shit! Look at this. Oh, it's horrific. He doesn't have a head. It's already leaking acid on the carpet. I think. Oh. Since you've been back in town. I think I missed Greg of a few years ago. Yeah. Like these days I mostly work all the time, but now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Aw, dude. Yeah. So I was thinking about how to use that for like good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. That's beautiful, dude. Angus is going to fucking freak the fuck out. We forgot to put the head on. I hope so. Okay, so. I hope. Uh huh. Ooh. I want to push the button. Let me do it. Let me do it. Dude, it's the least I can do. For my best friend back from the dead. Oh god, we didn't put the head on. It's not even gonna light up. Now I'm disappointed. That is such a deal. Mm, wait. Oh god. This side smells even worse. Hope whatever was living here is in hole. Okay, I think I see it. I don't think there's such a thing as reloading. Push it, push it, push it. Hey, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We worked hard. That's sweet. Push it, push it. Maybe not having the head on will result in something different. Maybe it'll... Maybe it'll blow up? Okay, 
gonna see Sharkle again? <laughs> Look at it flail! Oh god! <laughs> Greg is like, this is the best day ever! <laughs> Oh my god! It lives! What? <laughs> Ooh. Hey! How's it going, May? Why is there a flailing headless thing on my couch? God, I didn't die this time! You? Good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while if that's okay. Okay. It's almost funnier because the head wasn't on it. I freaking died tonight. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks and hock salamis. It's easier on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? Same. I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know. Stuff. Tired. Give me a second. Sorry. I was telling hub and partner whatever the fuck that I got uh, takeout instead of making food like a housewife should. <laughs> but also, in my defense, yeah, I lost myself in the in the in the drawing sauce. <laughs> I feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, they call it working. <laughs> you kids with your slang. Slang you could pick up at work. <laughs> okay, yes, point made. Uh, what about those boxes I asked about? In the crawl space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah. Perfect timing. Garbro and Mallory is starting. Oh yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, wait, I said I wouldn't read the Garbo and Mallory parts because they do wobbles. Pirating a movie online? I've never done that. Ever. And we certainly won't do it this Sunday when we watch a movie on Palm. Then <laughs> grand larceny. Sorry. <laughs> stupid sandwiches? Hell yeah. What kind of stupid sandwiches? 
Shoot. I can talk about this tangent. Uh, I've had a sandwich before. It wasn't a terrible sandwich. But it's definitely not like my... It's average. It probably, you, you dip it in fruit. So it's basically a fucking donut. Apparently, it is not usually served with a fruit jam. Uh, it's just how things are in the fucking Midwest. We fry everything and then we give it sugary syrup jam shit to dip it in. So it's this ham, cheese, meat sandwich. Deep fried, covered in powdered sugar, and then you're expected to overload it with like strawberry or raspberry jam. I think it's called a Monte Cristo. I genuinely don't know if that's what you're, it's supposed to be. But here where I live... We eat it like that. <laughs> and it fucking... The first time I had it, it was delicious. Because I was a young, dumb kid and everything that had sugar on it... Superb. Uh, now that I am older, I had it. Disgusting. I hate it. It's so gross. So that is a stupid sandwich. I don't like it. Hey, May, you awake? Sure am. What's up? Nothing. Watching TV. What are you watching? It's true crime. Is it any good? No, the reenactments are terrible. But if they were good, I'd actually feel bad for them. As it stands, it's just like bad local commercial actors. Pretending to be to murder or be murdered. Love those shows. They're the best. What does Greg have to say about our abomination? Hey, punk. Are you still electric? No, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. Okay, I touched my futon frame and we're good. Good work, Dr. Science. Does Angus like the robot that we botched? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. Okay, he says to say thank you. So I think that means he likes it. All right, Duder, I'm turning in. Me too. See you later. Let's see what Angus actually thinks. Hey, May, are you all right? I was afraid you were really hurt. And you left so quickly. I'm good, big guy. Okay, just wanted to make sure. I appreciate it. Try not to almost die anymore tonight. No promises. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Bedtime? Yes. Any dream sequence? Well, then, I'm okay. I was not expecting a dream sequence so soon. I didn't think we had done anything worthy of note, but I guess, uh, hanging out with Greg got us a dream sequence. Oh! I found you, big tuba man. I do like how atmospheric the dream sequences are. Like, I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Especially like this distortion of space and color. And how, like, May looks nice in the dream sequence. Very spooky. Go 
some resistance because we are about to unleash a plague. Can we feed the rat babies enough? Rat Jesus. We are a god to the rats. We feed them. We make them prosper. Except the rats. All right. <laughs> this should be Halloween soon in game. Arise, chicken, arise. <laughs> Hey, I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I'm here to be hello at. Update, the robot smells a little weird. Not sure what we missed there. Anyway, hey boy -o. I work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap falcon, more like it. <laughs> Alright, time to do the daily rounds and feed the rats. So we may further spread our plague. Alright, let's say hi to- Oh, she looks tired today. Yawn. Morning, long night. Yo, remember those big robot things from the food donkey? Hmm, you were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. I don't remember this at all. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing a boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. You and me both may. Oh, I remember. Well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Mommy not happy to see us today. 
mummy not happy. Fuck your mailbox. Check and see if there's more dusk stars. Oh shit, did we miss telescope? I hope we didn't. Nope! Oh, perfect timing. I was like, oh shit. How many days of days of days? How many days have progressed in game? Did we miss a telescope? Oh, we did. Mama ain't happy? Yeah, Candy's not happy. Ain't nobody's happy. Oh? Oi, oi, oi. I didn't see. Who was that? Hello! Thank you for the follow. This pumpkin get up here. What the fuck is it doing? I don't like it. Ew. Telescope time! Hello, Azure! Hello, hello! Welcome to the stream! For marathoning night in the woods in time for Halloween. Because I wanted to have this game finished before Halloween because it has Halloween vibes. Hello! Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome! Up here on my roof. <laughs> yep. Come to hunt some dust stars? Definitely. Hi, hi! Welcome. Come have a look. <laughs> I feel like this man just really likes burning out our retinas. <laughs> the filter, my ass. I say I'm good at this. <laughs> but honestly, I think it's just because I kind of memorized where they were. Um. Okay, maybe I, I don't remember seeing this one. Sterling the Seer. Looks a little funky. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh. By the time they got these... Got to these rare stars... The well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh! This one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing. And leaving one behind. These are all gonna be bummers, huh? <laughs> was he not psychic? These are all gonna be bummers! That is not for me to say. Is it a bad thing for the world to move on? Well, I mean, this guy probably doesn't think so. <laughs> Either way, one day, his king met a new sage, an astronomer, and she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns, and why, and the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters, for the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? That sounds fair. I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labors, even one's universe, are suddenly placed with a new one? Are they obsolete? That's how life is! Mm. Mm. I feel like this is a metaphor for people not understanding technology. <laughs> or like generational changes. <laughs> Is it a metaphor? Maybe? I don't know. What is to be done? I don't know. Really? Isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the king? In order to survive? It's one to ponder! Be <laughs> the stars that make one think. Yeah, I don't remember that conversation, so maybe... Maybe we're finding different stars on the Greg route. Because I remember different sets of stars... For B, so maybe there's different changes? That'll be something to look up, or maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> yo, yo, oh. Oh, hey! Boom! 
good one. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I don't remember this guy at all. What the fuck? Simon the fighter. She got a gun. Oh, Simone. Simone lived in a good land. But under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in this land, those roots took hold. And choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Chazakov. I like that. <laughs> Thanks. I was just reading the summary off my phone. <laughs> oh! We may not have signal, but we have Wi-Fi! Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified. But she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. Oh, there it is. Right click on. I shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of pressure for one person. She was not alone, of course. She was but one part of a growing organism. But she became a symbol. It is difficult to think of many things. So sometimes having a symbol for all of them is important. Like numbers. We do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, goddammit, I knew there wasn't gonna be a half. Oh, that is a good point! This wasn't going to be happy. That is a good point! If Simone is a female deer, it's interesting that she has antlers. Huh! I would not have noticed that. She'll charge against the palace gates. And behind those gates were cannons. Oh no. Many years later when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others, it was said that she now lives on in the bones of all of her country. Jeez, that got dark and sad and spooky. <laughs> that is history. That's both of them for today. Nito. That's a good point to bring up. Well, that was pretty great. Come by again. Couple days. We shall hunt the stars. Bee. <laughs> Fuck that squirrel. Ster Sterling Healing Simone. Okay. Fuck your porch! You gonna make my dog anxious? I thought you had a cat, bitch. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. I knew a dog that was like that. <laughs> totally what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off the top of my head? Not bleeding. On your seat in junior high? Not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself? Not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss seeing your prom? <laughs> uh, well, this is all so goddamn relatable. Um, I was gonna say those fruit snack things. We used to eat in grade school. Oh right, yeah, those, those are really good. <laughs> that other thing happened to you? Nope. Want to hear a new poem? Yes. Give it to me. Sometimes. I like fruit snacks. <laughs> Topical. Out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter. The juice. <laughs> Jeez, those are all like I, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks in the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. I think Mr. Chazakaz up there again. Oh really? I'm gonna fall right off the stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my back window. I see a fire? 
seen a fire up there for the other night. I wonder who was up there. Mm. I've never seen the rabbit lady. Can we talk to her? Nope. Well, she blinks, so she's not the core. Everybody, let's check on Bruce. <laughs> Nameless God statue. Here, Bruce. Everything okay? <laughs> Seen a fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here. Weird noises. I just kept to myself. And they went away. That sounds spooky. Been around a lot of places. Ain't spooked by much. But out past that water tower? Yeah, that's a place where teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. What do you know, Bruce? What do you know? In my experience, strange fire and strange voices ain't never been good. I wonder if they'll be back. Hope not. The void. <laughs> all right, well, don't die, Bruce. That would be a fucking shame. That's the call of the void. Oh, the fire and strange voices. God, I hope not. It'd be one hell of a call. We gotta do our rounds. Oh, I just got a text message that the guinea pigs like pumpkins. <laughs> Man, mom still looks sad. Hey, mom. Can't talk today. Lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have a town we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh. Did the plague occur yet? We're about to feed our plague children once more. Uh, a few more times and we will have a plague. <laughs> we have decided that May is the rat Jesus because she was able to walk on water in a dream, and therefore she will lead the rats to prosper. <laughs> And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, honey. Candy is sad. We're not even gonna bother talking to her again. Uh, because she's sad. Also, hi. Yes. Hi, hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh, jeez. Time for these fuckers. He's very nice. Alright. Oh, what did you get for food? I had the... I was... Oh, this one has me scrolling. Oh, so this one must be important then. Well, all of them are important, but... This is the first one that's letting me scroll. A trial run. Where would you put him? In the basement. Or in the library. With all the books. He's not gonna eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Interesting proposal means they don't like it. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward together on this. It will be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, the 
That's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. Interesting proposal means they don't like it, which means we're probably not gonna get any different results for Bruce. But as I was saying, I had to get takeout because I'm a dum-dum and I got lost in the sauce drawing my new body. <laughs> so you all better appreciate I'm a version 2.69 whatever the fuck. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, I'm an exterminator. <laughs> and Lo May said unto Pharaoh, let my people go. And then Pharaoh said, ma'am, I am an exterminator. <laughs> oh, you got pizza? Nice. I got Wendy's nuts. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> How's things? Okay, weird dreams. Want to talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. <laughs> Got him! Jeez. No, it was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours. And it was cozy. So I could take a nap, guilt-free. You feel guilty about naps? Wish I didn't. How's that whole thing with Bruce going? I'm hopeful and positive. That sounds like what someone says when they're not. <laughs> it's fine, May. It's gonna be fine. Alright, well that's all she had to say. Alright, time to steal more pretzels for our rat demons. And we're not gonna bother mom. She's tired. I don't know what happens if we bother her too much. I don't want to bug her. We might see a side of candy we don't want to see. I wonder if we've talked to Lori enough to get Lori's story, too. Oh, poem guy! That, that isn't shit. <laughs> Wife long gone, kids don't care. Tunnel fish are always there. Ah, yeah, man. Oh god, please don't listen. Grandma dog! We gotta talk to Grandma dog. She might give us more secrets. Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here. But it's in my bones wherever I go. So do I. Did you want to talk about Granddad? Tell me any nasty secrets? Oh, yes. Where was I? Something about the tide rolling out. Troublemakers in my family. Right. Back then, there were places that brought us all together. Or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The old Smokies. The Grand Bears. The Lodge of Old. <laughs> the Church and the Union. There'd be dances. Up at the HB. That's where I met your granddad. A lifetime ago. What was it like back then? Plain in most respects. Prone to fits of melancholy. But funny and wild when the occasion called. Surprising is, I guess, the word. Hmm. What'd your daddy say about him? Strict but nice. Distant but trying? Sounds right. That sounds... You all right, Miss Rosa? Oh yeah. Let's talk another time. Okay. Hope you feel better? Oh, May. Oh, dear May. Grandma... Grandma Rosa's been through some shit, apparently. Anyone down here? Obviously not, so it's time to get a pretzel and go feed the end of the world. I am the master at thievery. I used to not be, but now I know better. Crime! We must do it!
We must do it for the rat children. It's the only way the plague will be successful. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> this is unfairly easy. Rah! Time to feed. And then we also have to speak to Lori. I like that little rat. Now that I know I can just bounce up there. I don't need to take the long way. Stop, Lori. Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Oh, this is the part! Did you wanna come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. Ah, geez, let me answer you before you decide I said no. Oh, okay. Did you wanna go? We are definitely going down to the tracks with Lori. Sure! Oh, good. Yeah, it'll be fun. Let's rock. Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights up from last year still up. Haha, <laughs> someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year and we left them out too long. And they like, liquefied. Gross. Oh yeah, I remember that happened with one of one ours one year. My mom was so mad at my dad. It was his job to get rid of them. He had to like, mop it up. I seen like a time lapse video of when a corpse decays. All right, Lori. And like everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yeah. Okay, so like a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. That sounds dangerous. Oh, <laughs> I think Lori said she was 15, 16 or 15 or 16. Why? I don't know. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that? Where you're so excited you go to sleep? Coffee makes me sleep. Stress dream as if I'm too keyed up. Coffee makes me sleepy. <laughs> oh no! Ah, wuss. Guilty! Gee, so I like Gloria a lot. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes. But sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business there. Objectively gross. Way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Yay! Your little metal guy is all... Whoa! He represents the human soul. 
This is important art. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, okay. Let's roll. See ya! That's one of my favorite- I like Lori. Horror movies and trains. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite scenes with Lori. I don't know why. Probably because it feels relatable. In a way. You're at that age where shit sucks. But she's also somewhat mature for her age because life happens. I don't know. I like Lori. time. Let's see how many rats we have today. Alright, my little miracles. Look at all of them. Which one should- Oh my god! Aye! Feast my- Yes, feast! Feast on the salted pretzel! <laughs> There's so many of you! Someday you won't need me anymore. And you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. <laughs> we got the achievement, Miracle Rats. I don't, I don't even know if I get to pet them. Maybe the door's unlocked now for the next room? Apparently not. spooks but we are having plenty of time to hang with our miracle rat children and then hang out with another rat that isn't a baby that isn't a fair rodent <laughs> we should say hi to B at the very least hey dude hello how's working here going yeah, I don't know it pays. I like refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hey May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid horror fest play tomorrow. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. Oh, hello! Hi, Kanda! Welcome! I see your- Oh, your emotes! They're cute! Oi! <laughs> what are you up to tonight? Nothing. <laughs> I'm like super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. <laughs> I- I remember I was there. He, I think he did beat Proto Man. I think we had to cheat though. <laughs> he was looking for you in the chat uh, chat drive by when he was trying to figure out how to find some more health. I think <laughs> I kind of zoned out there for a little bit because I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner, even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. Some workarounds. <laughs> Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place. You'd think. But also, no, I'd rather die. Literally, make me a coffin. <laughs> Using materials and tools from the store. And bury me anywhere else. Yeah, retail life. I used- I worked in a hardware section once. And I would just bullshit my way through questions people would ask me, Joe Joke. They would be like, is this good for, uh painting houses and I'd be like yeah sure man um totally <laughs> and then they'd ask me other questions that I did not know the answer to but I would lie through my teeth and I would I would they wouldn't come back so either it worked or they went to an actual uh, professional <laughs> anyway I'm doing nothing tonight I can do nothing too fine so are we doing this not sure, got a couple of other stops to make. We're not hanging out with the scaly. 
We're not hailing it. You can't hang out with me because it's the Greg Road. <laughs> yeah. I never had complaints, so I'm assuming that I did a good enough job that people did not complain to my manager that I was giving the wrong advice about how to solve hardware problems. Oh, Angus is in the store. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's Video Land? Good, good. Start off the ha start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What horror movie? You just gotta bullshit. Your yes, sometimes you just have to bullshit your way through life. Yeah. Sight Sabbath. Oh, I accidentally hit confirm. I didn't even see the other one. Ooh, Italian. Yeah, they don't mess around. Pretty colors. Pretty everything. Well, see you later. Bye. Yes. These are not new movies, Angus. These are the same damn movies we've seen here the last three times. How will you rush my ass? <laughs> okay. This booty is closed. Social security. Who the fuck are you? CJ? <laughs> yeah. You were like in high school when I was in middle school. Uh huh. Did I know you? Used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house. <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? They're like pen and paper role playing stuff. Oh, D and D. Okay, okay. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving tomorrow? Ah, that's me. What are you doing here? Lawyer? Well, damn, dude. Oh. Can I ask you some good stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity. But yeah, sure. What's the best way to rob a bank? What's the best way to get out of jail? Hmm. Well, it depends on the situation, you see? Like, would you dig through the wall? Or like guard and take their pants and identity. Or like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something. Huh? What's the best prison gang? <laughs> like, if you had to pick. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. What is the, what is the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Understandable. May, have a nice day. <laughs> Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ! Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye! <laughs> See ya! Gotta love that we can just exit our way out of awkward conversations. Okay, we gotta check on these guys. And then we can talk to Greg again. Sunny again, thank goodness. What's got you down? It's nothing. What's wrong with the smelters, guys? <laughs> Go smelters, right? Yeah, go smelters! What the fuck? Why is everyone suddenly sad in this town? Mom doesn't want to talk to me anymore. She's doing budget crap. We gotta check and see if Jerem is out in the parking lot. Oh, and there be germs! Hey, Jerem. Yo. Want to hang out? We can hang out with Germ? I should run away and get married. <laughs> yeah, let's hang out with Germ. Okay, what did you want to do? Follow me. What the fuck are we doing? Germ route? Yeah, I didn't know we could hang out with Germ. We're here. We didn't go anywhere. Yep. We walked for 15 seconds. It's like a really big here. I could throw a rock and hit where we were just standing. You can see all of the sky here. Germ, the parking lot. Hello, you can. Um, okay. 
Okay, seriously, we're just looking at the parking lot? Sometimes? Oh god. Sometimes? Sometimes in the morning. If you're up on the hill back there, a whole bunch of fog passes over the lots. And it's like an ocean. Germ is profound, apparently. And there's a herd of deer that comes through. And it's like magic. I saw a herd of deer on my uh, wedding night. It was, we, we were cleaning up after the ceremony and shit. And the party and all that. And uh, I guess wherever we were located is like a high traffic area for deer. And there was just a shit ton of them. And I just sat there in the car like, wow. One of these fuckers is probably going to run in front of the car on the way home. <laughs> Great. Why did we ever need this much parking? Railroads. Jobs. Stores. Stores? There was the food donkey. Oh, thank you! Hi. Have a good rest of uh, your evening. I, don't, I can't remember your schedule if you're going to stream tonight. You also have a good stream! Yes, yes, yes. And the old second-hand store. And the shoe store. There used to be a record store back here somewhere. All gone now, though. Yep, just a lot of asphalt, weeds, and broken glass. Yeah, bye, Kanda! Bye! We will see you later, maybe. We might crash your stream or something. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of asphalt, weeds, and broken glass. It's so pretty. I love it. Hmm. You know, if they never do anything with this, in a bunch of years, this is gonna be like regular ground. Wow. What's gonna happen to the parking lot? I mean, the parking lot part of the parking lot. Nature's old. It waits you out. That's spooky. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Germ! <laughs> what? Let's go! Hey! Germ, what the fuck was that? So, I've been having... I have to go now. Bye! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm partially convinced Germ is not real. But he did show up to band practice. Okay, so now we're gonna go say hello to Greg. It's time for Gregory. Germ route complete. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was the germ route. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa, what's up with you? I wanna do something. Okay, wow. You drink like all the coffee? You have a near death experience or something? This job is one long near death experience. So, dude, dude, dude. You wanna do something, something, something? <laughs> yeah, man, let's go. Ah, woo! I must go, my people need me. Wounds? Um. Greg, you literally just had a whole rant about the helmet you had not being fascist. And you're not even wearing it. This is cute. Am I supposed to be hitting something? Nope, this is just a vibe. If Greg was single, this would be a really... Why are they wearing goggles? The nerds! Yeah, it's a bicycle. It's not even a motorbike. Nerds. I feel like we should be getting some dialogue, but you know what? I'll just enjoy this moment. Okay, so that was just a cutscene. 
No, it's like a kit you can get off the internet. Jeremy and me put it together. So it's a motorcycle now. No, it's like a motorized bike thing. It's different. <laughs> Why don't you just get a dirt bike again? I'm an adult now. I ride a bike. So, like, where are we? The woods. Alright. Oh, is Greg the one who maybe was lighting the fires? Doom, 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 doom. Log bridge to Valhalla. Cross and die, mortal. His log is gonna snap and we're gonna break our legs. And have to crawl back to town. Or die of, like, bears and cold. Remember when we used to make... Remember when we used to knife fight? <laughs> yeah. We go home with cuts all over our hands. So dumb. Well, I... What? I got knives right now. Just saying. Holy shit. Yeah, you're on. <laughs> First twist out, three times, loses. Come get cut, Gregor. Say goodbye to your fingers. Oh no! What the fuck? Stab me once, shame on you. Stab me thrice. Shame on... Yice! Okay, okay, okay. First one to whist out three times. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Stop stalling. On guard! Get stabbed. Wherever you go. Oh, so that's how it is. I'm gonna stab your people with this knife. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Gotcha, bitch! Ah, for fuck's sake, no, he's getting me! I'm bad at mini games. You okay? Are you a segment? No pity, Greg. No pity. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah. Go, go, go. Go, go. I don't even know how to back up. Ah, for fuck's sake! Ugh. Jeez, you okay, dude? No. I am not okay. We can stop. No. Again. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready? Gotcha, Greg! Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> ah! To my parents. Attack by a dog again? <laughs> I'm not good at mini games. Focus bones now. You're mutilating his flesh. Well, it looks like he's mutilating me. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Oh shit, we're still going. How many knife fights are we doing? Go, go, go. Greg, this is this is this is not. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, gotcha. Double time. Okay, I might be done. That really hurt. Really? No. Let's go. One last time. Prepare to die. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Yeah, get him. Go, go, go. Ah, 
gotcha, gotcha, ha! <laughs> gotcha, bitch! I win! I win, I win, I win! Alright, I'm actually done! Ha <laughs> ha, bitch, I gotcha! <laughs> okay, God, look at them. Yeah, I'll be fine. You need me to, like, call your mommy? <laughs> yeah. Tell her that her precious boy got stabbed in the woods. That was always how it was gonna end for one of us. Okay, well that's probably enough stabbing for today. Yeah, I got the achievement knife fight! Because we won! Nice! She just needed some tough love. <laughs> I'm a bully. Alright, this blood is gonna trick predators. <laughs> Good point. We won! Wait, why did you have two knives? Huh. Good question. Let's break this log. Oh my god. With the knives? No. This is probably gonna kill us. Nah, dude. Good point. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, man. I was thinking. Yeah? Like, if you see a rotting tree or a log or something in the woods. Or, like, there's ice and a big rock. Like, you have to kick the tree over or break the ice. Like, I can't not do it. Yeah. Hmm. The, like, feel of... It's different now. Because I was here. Yeah, okay, yeah. That makes sense. These woods will never be the same, man. I changed them. We changed them. Butterfly effect. Dude, someone's gonna die or get born because we broke that log. <laughs> Crap, man. Yeah. Uh... Greg, what the fuck is that? I excuse me? Swoop? Um... I was gonna say, I'm surprised you still have that. Yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, well... Hunting wasn't my thing. But I mean... Dude. Like, what isn't fun about this thing? What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> is this the forest god? <laughs> he just left us broken on the ground? Yeah, he did. Did you ever go? No, my dad wasn't into it. Granddad was, but he definitely saw it as a guy thing. Hmm. Greg did not pick us up off the ground. That was fine, I guess. Uh, I think that was fine. I'm not a big hunter. You didn't miss much. Went out with my dad and my uncle and cousin. Shot a turkey. And? I felt bad. Hmm. Well, anyway... I would have liked to have been asked at least. You wanna shoot this guy? So like, what's going on there? The forest god? Oh, I was right! It's the god of the forest! Like in the story? Yeah. Looks like you just stuck a bunch of targets and decoys together. You work. Bang bang. With what you got. <laughs> you wanna shoot a dude? Uh, yeah. You should go stand in front and I'll, like, shoot over your head. Dude. Okay, okay, fine, gimme. Oh no. Wow, this is heavier than I expected. Right? So make sure you pull back before you release the trigger. Can I just shoot whatever? Not at me! Oh wait. How do I fire? Stop firing. You just have to hold the trigger down for long enough first. Okay, okay, so just hold it down, huh? Oh! Bam! I 
I'm not doing this, by the way. This shaky cam wrecked. Let's get the tukus. Let's get the bum. The bum bum. Nice! Oh, and the tail? Right in the tail. Uh, let's get the actual bum. The bum bum. May! You have worse hands than me! That beast. May has the worst shaky like drug addict hands. <laughs> That's what I used to call. I have like shaky hands as well. I used to call them like drug addicts shakes <laughs> or anxiety shakes. Either way, I just have very trimmy hands. Come on, come on. Why headshot? Nice. Ah, oh, we got an achievement called brain shot. How many times do I get to fire this damn thing? Yeah. Oh, I missed. Well, that shot for sure went far. Quality over qu quantity over quality. I haven't missed this. Hunt it. <laughs> I haven't missed a single shot. Except that one. How big do I get to do, Greg? Let's see with the sign. What happens if we hit the sign? Oh shit. Can we hit one of those birds? Wham! You hit that sign pretty good. Sure did. I'm out of bolts. Oh, we wasted all of our bolts. Well, we didn't murder a bird at the very least. That's cool. That was fun. I can take out- I can take on, like, vampires now. You could. You could. Vampires of Cosmic Springs. Yeah, if you don't know how to- also, yeah, if you don't know how to steady something, this is- this is what it looks like. It feels shiny to- shiny as well. I've held some shit in my life. And I might be a shaky, trembly person, but it was not that bad. Greg is all over the place. Is Greg the murderer? <laughs> so... What the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, that's been happening lately. What has? Electrical stuff. Let me... Like, me basically dying twice last night? <laughs> No, I think that's on you. Hmm. So I don't want to be nosy, but... You seem a little up and down today. Yeah. It's a thing. I mean, it's been a thing in general lately, but... I'm a good person, right? Oh no. I like Greg. What's up, man? I try really hard. Angus, like, needs me. He needs a Greg. Badly. We all need a Greg. Yeah, but with Angus, he hasn't had the best life. His family is, like, pure trash. How so? Just, like, asshole. Stupid assholes. I just don't ever want to lose him. Not ever. I don't know what I'd do. I don't want to screw this up. What are you worried about doing? We've had some arguments lately. About what? Stuff. Maybe I'm inconsiderate. Maybe I'm not good. You're good. <laughs> I'm just parking lot trash. I've known that all along. I've got like no future if it was just me. When I'm awake at night, I listen to Angus snore. I stare at the ceiling. I think about how I'm a complete piece of shit. And, and, and. 
Greg. Greg. Calm down, dude. You're good. And Angus is good. Yeah. Angus is good. Nice, smart, hot, cool dude. Down to chill. Etc. Greg, etc. You know. He's got that ass. <laughs> He's an ass man, huh? Oh my god. Thank you for finally saying it. It's a fantastic ass, right? Fantastic. <laughs> okay, I'm not comfortable with you objectifying my boyfriend. Only his ass. And who could blame you? I forget what I was gonna say. I don't know. Probably worried about nothing. I have really, really... I have really up-up days and really down-down days. I don't know which it is until it's over sometimes. I kind of coast through on general blah right now. <laughs> what kind of birds are those? I have no idea. A bird! That's called manic depression. Northern dumb fowl. Yeah, Greg sounds like he's having a hard time. Or is it May that's having a hard time? Everybody's having a hard time, actually. Eastern skinny bird. Do they fly south? Do you want me to make something up? Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's real good. Greg's happy, okay. Greg's sad, okay. Forest god, Aww. Oof. What's up? Long day. Are we, are we, is dad now gonna drop something on us and we're just gonna have back-to-back -back depressives? Yeah, same here. How socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Any idea what was up with mom today? Ah, uh, she's just stressed. That's vague. <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break it to you. But you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. <laughs> Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. <laughs> so how about those crossface boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah. TV time. And we're back. Yeah, Mallory. Hmm? None of them are angry and drunk. <laughs> Most of them, anyway. A gentle thump of empty beer bottle thrown at your head. You sure are around the midsection. Oh! oh. Come fellas, your body shame. Don't worry about that garbage. <laughs> body shame it! Oh! Garbo and I go to counseling! Woo! Nice! Alright, well, I better see those boxes move. Soon. Now, hold up a minute. 
I've never been able to just go this way. Nope, mine's not chilling. All right then. Well, up the stairs we go. Mm. Check computer. Hey B, you there? Yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the 80s. Those are the exact thing you should be doing if you were like 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over from my mom. Oh. I'm just being thorough. Oh, you're doing a great job. Thanks. Can I get back to work? Night, night. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. Thanks for hanging earlier. No prob, dude. How's your knifed up hand? <laughs> I'll live. Angus fixed me. Aw, good boyfriend. Yeah, he's a keeper. Sorry is a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude. Seriously. I just... Yeah. Get some sleep, man. Will do. Night, bro. The only thing spooky about this game so far is Demon Tower. I don't want to play around with Demon Tower just yet. Where are all the spooks? I remember it being a little bit more spooky. But maybe that's because like the slice of life stuff helps balance out like how spooky it gets real fast. Yes, sleep time. <sighs> Dream segment? Jesus, okay. I don't remember the dream segments being... Well, I guess they were kind of... They just pop out. Wait. This one's moving. Oh, I Okay. It's fucking windy, my dude. It does be windy. It's a blustery. It breaks the return. He's still kind of bummed out. We all know that. Shit fuck. I'm not supposed to go that way? This is the only foreseeable thing I can do. Telephone pole. Parkour. Really? 
good. It turns out we're on a train, which is why it's windy. Okay. We went through the dream segment. Uh, I might call it here for this dream just because we got through a dream segment, which means we can start the day fresh. But let's look at our journal. Rip Grandad. A boat. An octopus. Your parents forgot you. Hoo <laughs> Mom. Dad. Thought this place is falling apart. Thought Aunt Ma Cop is planning to kill me. Greg rules. Okay. B. Maybe. Die anywhere. Weird Autumn. Those are the songs that I can't play. I can't play the mini game. Gregory's Pizza Scale. Fancy is too fancy. Normal delivery. Good as hell. Frozen. Cheap. Bad. Uneatable. Oh, there's our autopsy report on the arm. Some constellations. Angus. Squirrel. Nice noise. <laughs> What's that from? Excuse me? Alright then. Oh, I need the journal to uh Let me go to the hub. We had a good night, I feel, I feel. I swear by the night by the time this by the time next stream I'll figure it out chat. I swear, maybe. I just don't know how to change the settings. I've been playing around with it, but no matter what I do, it still makes chat disappear. So I gotta look at it. Anyway, anyway, let me look at uh, the charts. Is anyone on line that we could bug? Oh, 
Wakerville Bug Conda. They're playing Digimon Cyber Sleuth, which is a game that I also wanted to play eventually. Uh, we got a capture card now, so maybe that can be a thing later. Maybe. Uh, first we have to uh, do some island cleanup on Animal Crossing. I'll do an island tour slash cleanup sometime next week once I figure out how the capture card works. <laughs> uh, what was brain brain fart? Brain fart. <laughs> ah, my brain don't want to work the way I wish it would. Hmm. <laughs> Aye. Oi. Oh. Uh. Hopefully we will finish the game on time. I thought it was a, it's pretty sure it's about 10 hours of playtime, but we have not run into any spookies. I'm kind of getting worried. We might have to do like some extra streams. Maybe we could do, maybe we could do a pre-game Halloween movie night on Sunday. And we could try and finish uh, our, our, our Night in the Woods playthrough before. We watch the scary movie on pop. Might have to do that because I I feel like we should have hit more spooky scares by now. Ugh. Oh well. I I believe that I will bid you all adieu, and maybe I'll just go invade Kanda myself. He. <laughs> I. It's a chill night. We might not bother the fuck out of him today. <laughs> no bullying. <laughs> That's for me. Anyway, thank you all for joining in. I hope that it was an uh, enjoyable stream. Once we're fin finished with Night in the Woods, I'll start playing other games. Uh, I have some in mind that I want to play, but I'm still ironing out the details. But anyway, uh, have a good night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, same time. Yeah, thank you for coming. Good night. It was fun to chill with everybody. Where this game is pretty... It, I like this game. I'm just... I'm wondering where all my spooks were. Because I remember this game having some spooks. I guess they're all for the last half to make contrast for the fact that... um, uh, The slice of life stuff exists. <laughs> anyway. Uh, good night, everybody. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow, same time. <laughs>